You're watching Good Day Austin on Fox 7. One of the ways that I judge chemistry is just by looking in somebody's eyes without talking. Can we do that? Okay. Wow. Good deal. You seem like you have a strong grip there. Let's see the hand. Oh, you, you like hands? Oh, okay. They're okay. All I right. played receiver in college. Oh, nice. So they're big enough to catch. I don't want to say the next word. They're big <laughs> enough to catch balls. Great meeting you. Yeah. All right. Oh, are we oh, done? Yeah. Love those awkward moments from first dates. Those are clips from Fox's new Hi. dating reality show, Couples, which does premiere tonight on. Fox 7, and so this morning we're going to talk more about what makes a good first impression with professional matchmaker Julia McCurley. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. We always love chatting with you. Uh, first of all, Julia, your thoughts on a dating reality show where they're meeting on an island? Is that one way where it could work? <laughs> what I love about these dating reality shows, it just gives inspiration for other singles. Okay. Right? Yeah. And then yeah. also it gets people off the computer because, or the swiping, because the only way to determine chemistry is in person. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. away from those yeah. dating Apps. Yes. Maybe not with the nation looking on, but we enjoy it. We appreciate you know, it. I'd get a trainer. Yeah. 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 We started myself entertaining the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, of course, it is all about the first impression. I think we can all say that mm. from, you know, meeting our significant others, we probably knew pretty early on, hey, this could be something that could last. How do you go about making a good first impression? Well, I think... Like, when you have such a short period of time, especially on the show, it's all about eye contact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, if you want to create that kind of romantic yeah. chemistry, you need to hold it longer. I usually say about five seconds. Okay. Which I know can kind of feel weird. Yeah. But then you kind of just, like, the eyes are the window to the yes. soul type mm -hmm. of thing. And you got to continue that eye contact, too. Not only is it just polite, uh, but then you can really start to see if maybe you're interested in holding on to that eye contact. Exactly. If you're interested in that person. And also think that... Coming up with some unique questions instead of just, what, you know, where are you from, where'd you grow up? Something like, tell me about your perfect day, you know, or what's mm -hmm. on your bucket list. Just yes. skip all the resume things and just yeah. kind of get to the core of the person. That's a great way to get to know someone. If yeah. you can come up with some really unique and fun questions <laughs> to talk about. Our producer, Chad, just joked in my ear, said, do you like football? But that might be something mm -hmm. if we're dating I that. You want to know about common interests, right? Yeah. 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 Like, I have a lot of clients that are football fans. Well, that's what I mean. Common, you know, or do you like to travel? Or what yes. do, you, do you like to eat? You know, mm -hmm. you want exactly. things that are going to be a match down how, the road. How important is that, though, right off the bat to make sure that you have some of those the common, common interests. interests. Mm -hmm. I think they're kind of good, but like I said, I mean, you can't really get into like sex, politics, religion, how you're going to raise your kids. I mean, you've just right got right. a couple right. no, That would be a little intense. So you don't want to yeah. mention any touchy subjects. Yeah, yeah. Right? Humor's always good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, I can't believe we're here on this island, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what brought you here? You know, things like that just kind of break the ice. Yeah. Because it probably does feel awkward. Like, I'm in a bikini. I hope you swipe right. Yeah. Um, one thing I was going to... really funny if the guy says that. No. Well, yes. Like if you're in a bikini. But I was going to say, I think this is the first dating reality show where the men and the women are both deciding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, it kind of has that bumble you feeling that. where yeah. the women... Pick yeah, first the women they get want. to decide first. You know, so it kind of seems like, like it's less about hooking up, perhaps. Yeah. Well, I think that we'll maybe is what we were trying to go for. What, you just touched on it a little bit. What about bad yeah. first impressions? What makes bad first yeah, what, what do you want to really not do? I guess you just kind of mentioned some of the taboo topics. Well, I think anything about physical appearance, you mm -hmm. know, is bad. Um, I think anything just negative or complaining or like it's, what do you think of your room my room i hate those sheets or just what i'm mm -hmm. keeping about the show like you just want to keep it positive yeah, yeah that's yeah. a good one or that even can like really be such a turn off too, it is like someone's just negative right off the bat or complaining mm -hmm. about things yeah or like you're on a date you know in austin and they, you, they put you at a table by the kitchen door or whatever you don't want to say anything mm -hmm. right because mm -hmm. it just makes it feel like all right this girl's high maintenance yeah already off the bat, right off the bat yeah, yeah. What Not about good. yours is an offline dating service? Yes. So the difference between offline and online? There's no contact between the people. They don't. I do all the screening and vetting. I call it like dating in reverse. Normally when you date online, there's three big things you don't know. Number one, are they dating other people? Mm. Number two, do they really want to commit a relationship? And number three, are they emotionally available? Mm. So at a minimum, those things are screened and vetted. And then there's all the other things, like the values and hobbies, interests. So really, when you meet the person, all you need to worry, focus on is chemistry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you say, ultimately, 
meeting in person, getting to know one another in person is how you can tell if you're going to make it in a relationship. Exactly. And that's the problem with dating right now is every, it's so looks oriented. And so let's say you start getting, you know, emotionally involved, physically involved, and then all the what should be important things come up later and then you just keep trying to make it work, right? Maybe stay in relationships too long. Mm -hmm. So this is like the other way. I'm doing the bad dates for you. <laughs> do, do, do you feel like it's harder to, to be out dating now as opposed to 20 years ago, 30 years yes. ago? I mean, Why? People... There's a famous study called the Paradox of Choice. And it's basically the um, results were that the more options somebody has, the less mm. satisfied they are. Ah, yeah. I've and heard... if you know that there's all these other options out there, then you're thinking about, well, yes. what else could be? Mm -hmm. I you know. know. People want, say they want freedom of choice. You really Sometimes you want freedom from choice. Yeah, it's just too much. It's like information overload, and the bottom line is we're never going to get 100%. Right. So you can just keep dating and dating and dating, and pretty soon you're 50 and alone, mm -hmm. right? Like, oh, where'd the time that's go? Sad. Well, so, you know, yeah. can't waste those good years, no, especially if you're a woman. You say, well, no, I mean, you say you're 50 and alone. There is, though, hope for people who are 50. Oh, what I didn't did mean it say? like that. No, yes. I just, I just have I to just ask. meant, like, if you've never been married by that age, Perhaps you've maybe been a little too picky. Right. You've explored too many options. Yeah. Maybe. Because there is some people that and just you're never satisfied. Never happy. Yeah. yeah. Huh. I bet you get a kick out of these reality. I dating. love them. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm obsessed with them. Yeah. In fact, the Bachelorette starting up on Monday. I'm like, that show never ends. Yeah. No. Never. Really. No. So but now we've got this whole new yeah. one premiering tonight, coupled on Wish Fox Seven well. at you eight o'clock. Julia McCurley from Something More, we always appreciate you. Well, thank, thank you for, you for having in. me.